Good day everyone. On this video, we'll learn how to remove the TPM from Windows 11. Windows 11 is the latest software for Microsoft. As you can see, we have here uh, the Windows 11 2022 update, the version 22H2. That's the one that we're going to install. In the description below, I will give you the link so you can click on it and install. Scroll down and go to the download ISO. Select multi edition, then click on download. And then select the language that you prefer. Confirm and then click on download. It will automatically tell you the size and then you can save it. Now we're going to be on VirtualBox right now. So you can create a machine. Windows 11. And automatically detect it here. Click next. Select the amount that you will use for your operating system. And it will ask you this version needs more than 52 gigs. So dynamic allocated require more than um, 60. Mm -hmm. And then go to settings here. Advanced by directionals. Then processors display. Leave it like that. On this one, go to select the ISO that you have downloaded. I have it here. Then you uh, leave it everything as normal. Network as snap. Then continue. Now we're going to start the machine. You will see a message screen that is preventing us to install. This is the message that I'm telling you. This PC can run Windows 11. Cannot run, right? This PC does not meet the minimum system requirements to install this version of Windows. Now, we're going to do the following so we can fix this. We close this tab here. Then we press Shift F10. Chief F10, we enter the command prompt, we type regedit, we enter here. Once we are on that location, make sure to scroll down to Hey Local Machine, and then System, and then Setup. Click on there, create a new key, which is going to be named Lab Config. On that part, make sure to enter a T word here. Bypass TPM check with the value of one here. And then we put bypass secure, but check. with the value of one as well. Click on there, then close this tab as well. And then we're going to install. Don't have a key. Select the version that you wish to install. And there you go. Now click on here, select this part. As you can see, I have it here, my disk drive, then click next. And the installation will start. Now we're going to pause the video here so we can continue later. One moment. Now we're about to start the configuration of the installation. Just a moment. Now we're going to select our country or region where you will use this. Yes. Select the layout for your keyboard. If you want to include a second layout, select it here, but I'm going to skip it. 
you will check for updates. But since this is the latest one, nothing will be there. Now we're going to name this device PC user one. Now it will ask us for what reason would you like to use this device? I'm going to here like for personal use. Click next, then sign in. If you have an account, you can enter here, but if not, just enter the user as normal. User one, click next, enter your password. You have to create a, new, a password, right? And it will ask you something went wrong. Someone has entered an incorrect password for this too many times. Okay, click next. Enter your full name. Um, your name, right? Or any name. That doesn't matter. Practice one. Click next. Enter the password. It can be any password that you want, okay? Doesn't have to be um, a specific password. Okay, pet name. It will ask you for your privacy. Location, no. Find my device, no. Diagnosis data require only. Inking and typing, no. Tailored experience, no. Advertising ID, no. By selecting all of them as no, what you are doing is preventing your privacy to be exposed to Microsoft. That's why they want you to select yes. As default, it's everything enabled, but you make sure to turn off. getting things ready for you. This may take a few minutes. So we're going to almost finish here. Uh, we're about to finish the installation. Remember on the description below, I will be giving you the links and also a brief explanation with the steps that we did previously. We're almost there, and there you go. That will be the installation. Now, the other part, once you are inside Windows, once you are on the Windows, make sure to install the Virtual Bus Gex Edition. It will pop up here, and then we click on Run as Administrator. Click here. By doing this, it will give you the option to full screen. And also, the improvement of the machine will be better. Reboot now, finish, restarting. This is starting for the first time here. Now go to the password that you enter. Then go to full screen. And now you have the full screen. It runs better now. Now we have come to the last part. I hope you liked the video. I will be showing you steps later on how to 
increase your experience with this window which is one of my favorites now i hope you liked the video and thank you for watching subscribe if you want i'm going to be updating the channel with more content